Christmas can certainly do that. Second in the Atlantic 10 coming in. And as we said, he can score it a lot of different ways. Putting the ball to the floor, knocking down threes. Good hustle to track down that offensive rebound. Off balance, guys, hitting you doesn't matter. The little step back to create space, and some guys have the ability. This is Tyndale out front. Almost steps back. They left the... 18-7 run. Size, and they can pound the ball into the paint, take advantage of it. What a move by Tyndale. 63-50 as he hit the free throw. Spin around, back out to Burrell. Burrell. Trying to make the inside pass. Tough interior passing, almost coming up big again. This time. So he's been effective in the paint. And he was replaced by Duncan Christmas. What a spin move ahead. Temple spreading things out. Here's Tyndale. Steps up. Clock off and then finish it with yet another three. Wow. Tyndale with this steal. And Lavender pulled on the foul. Tyndale, what a job he has done here tonight. And both halves, he really set the tone early on, and they've been able to create some mismatches out on the perimeter. He's been patient and active, both on the offensive end as well as defensively, and certainly the three-point shooting a big story, but at more surprising how easily Temple was able to handle them. The second half surge as Deontay Christmas got going, and I guess when you upset a nationally ranked team, you're going to get a few extra people out on the floor. And why not? That's the enthusiasm of college basketball. But without a doubt, Deontay Christmas ignited his team early in the second half. I think his energy was infectious. And there's a lot of energy out there on the court also right now. We'll take a break and then we'll have some post game for you. Final score 78 to 59. Temple on top of the Musketeers and Xavier. Stay with us. Post game coming up.